Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Sometimes the information you include in your document is best displayed in columns. Now, Word can also allow you to adjust your columns by adding column breaks. So let's first look at how to add columns to a document. So select the text that you want to format. I'll select this. Then under Layout tab, select Columns command, then choose the number of columns you want to work with. So I'll choose two, and as you can see, I have two columns in my document. Now your column choices aren't limited to the drop-down menu that appears. Now you can come over here and select more columns. And from here, you can choose the number of columns you want. So maybe let's put it to five, then click OK. And as you can see, I have five columns. But that doesn't look good on my document, so I'll take it back to two columns, just like that. Now let's look at how to remove columns. To remove columns, uh, formatting, place the insertion point anywhere in the columns. So I can place it anywhere I want. Then click the columns command on the layout tab over here and select one from the drop down menu just like that and i've taken it back to the normal formatting now let's look at adding column breaks so first i'll select just this and then two columns just like that now to add uh once you've created columns the text will automatically flow from one column to the next just like this but sometimes though you may want to control exactly where each column begins now you can do this by creating a column break to add a column break place the insertion point at the beginning of the text you want to move so as you can see my third point is it has poured over to the next column so i want to move it to the next column so i'll place my insertion point at the beginning of that line then select the layout tab then click the breaks command from here a drop down with menu will appear just like so then select column from menu so select column and as you can see it has been moved to the next column the text will move to the beginning of the column just like that now let's look at how to remove column breaks by default breaks are hidden if you want to show the breaks in your document click the show hide command on the home tab so home tab then show hide commands and here they are and they'll show you where the column breaks are so i have a column break command over here as you can see now place that delete key to remove the break um let's say you choose whichever column break you want to delete let's say i want to delete this one then click the delete key from your keyboard and by doing so you've deleted that column break just like that mm -hmm.